friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you're here today because I have a horror book haul. Uh, it's been a minute since I've done a book haul. I've been attempting to not buy as many books but uh, what was it? A small bookstore appreciation day happened so I ended up buying some books um, and then I went down a whole little paperback, uh, <laughs> vintage paperback uh, black hole I guess um, on eBay. So yeah, I got some cool stuff, um, and yeah, some used, mostly used. I think I only have two, like, brand new books, uh, but yeah, let's get right into it. Uh, starting off with Postmortem by Patricia D. Cornwell. I found this at the thrift store. Um, I believe this is a serial killer thriller, um, and I've seen it, um, on everybody's list, on everybody's list. I've seen it on some list, let's just say that, um, as, like, a very creepy, type of thriller book um and yeah i love this paperback i love the wording here how it continues um all the way around for mortem and yeah i'm super excited to get to this one one day <laughs> and the next couple books i got are some christopher pike books so i believe this brings my collection up to five christopher pike books so very exciting i'm hoping to knock out all of these um for my friend's uh, mass paperback uh, readathon she is having um, my friend Sarah over on Instagram I will put her Instagram in the description box down below but yeah I'm super excited um, I have a friend on well I have a couple friends on bookstagram that are total pike heads and um, these were recommended to me by one of them um, and I will link I think it's the haunted bookworm I will link um their bookstagram as well but yeah uh road to nowhere i love this cover it's so great um a dark and stormy night uh I, yeah i'm not gonna uh read actually this one sounds hilarious uh Teresa chaffee is running away from home driving north uh along california coast she picks up two mysterious hitchhikers poppy corn and freedom jack together the three of them tell stories Teresa of her devastating relationship with her boyfriend poppy of a sad young woman she once knew and freedom of a talented young man with a violent temper um yeah i love i just love this and also i feel like christopher pike loves getting people together and telling stories that's what the midnight club was that's like the only book i've read by him um so yeah this sounds very midnight clubby uh so exciting and then i have the witch she saw the future she saw death i love this green in this cover it is uh, epic um and yeah, I won't read the whole blurb on the back, but I'll just say she was a good witch, was a good witch, right? Um, and then, uh, Die Softly. I love this one shot through the camera lens. I love the blue lettering. Um, he might have photographed a murder. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, so I'm excited to read these, um, I, I just don't want to like mess them up when I read them so <laughs> um, we shall see how it goes uh, for that readathon but yeah I'm super excited to have like a pike uh, summer um, a pike summer that's not a thing oh my gosh I'm gonna stop talking right now <laughs> I also found this really cool Poe book um, eight tales of horror this little paperback at my used bookstore my local one I just really love the cover I have another paperback of Poe um, and it has like his face on it and it's really cool uh, so yeah I'm really excited for this one this has uh, the fall of the house Fusher, the mask of the red death uh, the cask of the Amontillado um, and found other tales. I bet Black Cat is in there. Um, and then I found The Auctioneer by John Samson. Um, I thought this cover was really cool. Uh, this is more of a thriller book. Um, I believe it's like a crime thriller um, about, this is so exciting, an auctioneer. You know, the life of an auctioneer is epic. <laughs> epic and thrilling. <laughs> The next book I found was this Bentley Little, The Summoning book, um, and yeah, this gives me, like, major, like, 90s vibes. I actually don't even know when this was published, but, um, it's giving me 90s vibes, spooky graveyard with some ruins in the background, and this takes place in Arizona, where an evil older than time is rising from the desert. 
So yeah, super spooky stuff happening here. Um, I've never read a Bentley Little book, but let me know in the comments down below if you have. Uh, I've, there's a bunch of Bentley Little books. Um, I see them everywhere. Um, I even think I got some on an Audible sale for like a dollar or something. So I do have some um, to listen on Audible, not this one. But yeah, uh, let me know in the comments down below if you've read anything. Uh, by this author and the next book I ordered but then I found at my freaking used bookstore but it wasn't in mass paperback form so doesn't count and that is Dan Simmons uh, Children of Night of the Night uh, this is a vampire book by Dan Simmons and I am so excited to read this um I don't think I, I'm gonna get to it in June for sure not yeah definitely not but probably in July um and I don't know if this is quite a summer horror book either I just want to read it because I love Dan Simmons I love Carrying Comfort and um oh gosh the other yeah Summer of Night that one was really good. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about this. Uh, in a desolate orphanage in what remains of post-communist Romania, a desperately ill infant is given the wrong blood transfusion and flourishes when he's supposed to die. The discovery of his unique immune system may hold the key to a long-awaited cure for cancer and AIDS. For a dedicated American doctor, he promises the medical breakthrough of a lifetime as well as a very special love she's never been able to to find so yeah I'm super excited for this one um, and I absolutely love the cover and the hardback that I found too is the same exact cover but it literally yeah it looks really cool it's like spooky mansion in Romania uh, so yeah so excited to get to this eventually uh, but yeah Dan Simmons if you ever see a Dan Simmons out in the wild just get it because it's going to be good the next book I'm so excited for is Brian Keene's Dark Hollow uh, I loved Ghoul by Brian King recently, and this is another creature feature. I believe this was a werewolf uh, t uh, story, uh, and yeah, uh, I'm super excited for it because, um, yeah, <laughs> I just loved Ghoul. That's why I'm excited for this one. <laughs> the next book I didn't even know existed um, <laughs> until it was recommended to me on eBay, of all things. It popped up, and that was Son of Rosemary by Ira Le Levin. I didn't know there was a um, sequel to Rosemary's Baby, but I was like, yeah, I need I need that story uh, <laughs> immediately, especially since I just read Just Like Mother, uh, which is very reminiscent of Rosemary's Baby. Uh, and yeah, I love this cover. It just looks like some satanic stuff is going on and I'm here for it. Uh, so yeah, let me know if you've read The Son of Rosemary. Um, let me know how it, how it, how it is because I'm intrigued. I haven't seen anything about it. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited to get to it one day. Next books I am super excited for but also kind of scared for because they are rough. They are extreme horror books, um, and that is Survivor by uh, J. Jeff Gonzalez. Uh, this cover, so this cover isn't the epic, like, hand cover. Of course, you can see it right now. But I kind of wanted a different cover. Um, I love that hand cover with the, the missing finger, uh, but I also like this one. It looks a little bit more vintage -y. Um, and of course, you know, I had to get the mass paperback um, of it. So if you guys don't know what this is about, this is about a woman being kidnapped uh, and to being tortured for a snuff film, pretty much. Uh, I hear this compared to Pretty Girls a lot. Um, so if you... If you, I, I, I hesitate to say like Pretty Girls uh, because that book is very intense and dark uh, and people who like thrillers will pick that one up and be like, oh yeah, this is straight up horror. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, this is um, horror like torture uh, stuff happening in this one. Uh, and then the next book I got by him, I actually got a deal. So I got them together and I think they work well together. I like the color comparison. Anyways, uh, is be the beloved by J. Jeff Gonzalez. This is a succubus story. So I'm very excited for that. I don't think I've ever read a succubus story. Uh, so yeah, I'm very excited to uh, read the story. I don't know which one I'm honestly going to read first um, because I know this one's so intense. This one just kind of sounds fun and maybe it will be a bit extreme, but um, a little bit 
more lighter than this one it seems like uh but yeah and i love the cover i love this blue this wicked woman on the cover and yeah i'm so excited to read this like the, the i'm it won't happen in june i know but possibly july but yeah so excited <laughs> the next book i got i don't remember where i got it um but it's the lesser dead by christopher bulliman uh this is a thriller i believe i believe this is a serial killer no it's vampires what am i doing um this is a vampire book but um i saw this on a list recently and yeah i am uh, was sold on this cover um and yeah i had to get it um used and look at this awesome artwork like when you open it up it just looks spooky automatically uh and yeah i'm super excited to read this one because yeah i see so many great things about it okay i hope my camera is not picking up this noise but there is a wasp somewhere in this room or there were two wasps somewhere in my bedroom so yeah, if you hear that buzzing, it's a wasp. And if you see me staring frantically of where it is, uh, that is why. Because there is a wasp, wasp situation happening, or multiple wasp situation. Um, I Our um, front door was open for a second, and I just watched it, like, fly in. So, not cool. Um, anyways, uh, the next book I got is Hide and Seeker by Daka Harman, Herman. Uh, Hormone. Uh, this looks so much fun. This is a middle grade uh, spooky book and I meant to get this like a couple years ago and then forgot about it. Uh, but yeah, I love the cover of it and this is about uh, people playing hide and seek and they accidentally like summon something. Uh, I heard recently that uh, I was like on somebody's live and they were interviewing somebody and they said this author didn't know they were writing horror. <laughs> when they wrote this story uh which i thought was really really funny and cute uh so yeah i hear great things about this one uh so i'm excited maybe to take a break from more the more extreme stuff that i'm reading uh and pick up this one uh just for a little fun next book i found at my local thrift store is full tilt by neil schusterman um and i don't know what this is about i think this is about like a extreme ride it's very short and i think this is middle grade as well uh, but I remember hearing about this, um, and this is somebody's favorite book. I just can't think um, of who recommended this for me uh, recently. But if I do, I will link all their stuff in the description box down below. But yeah, I am super excited to get to this. And also, like, this looks like a nice break in, um, from more extreme stuff that I'll be reading. And also a fun horror summer book. The next book I found at my local bookstore. I actually still have the... <laughs> their little uh, bookmark they always give out and then uh, and this is Aberat. Uh, I'm probably totally mispronouncing this uh, and I don't know what it's about but it's Clive Barker and I really like the cover of it uh, and that's one of my goals uh, for this channel is to read a ton of more Clive Barker so when I saw this I had to get it of course right <laughs> the next book I got also at my local used bookstore and this is um nightmare flower and i honestly just bought this because of the cover uh but i think it has to do with lizzie borden uh yeah i don't know <laughs> i had to get it because of the cover it's just this like sentient rose here uh and yeah i'm super excited to get to this with uh for the talking uh whatever this is about i'm excited for it <laughs> and the next book i got is my soul to keep by tana tana anna narivdu uh this is i believe her first book um and it follows multiple characters and i think it's a witchcraft story i might be totally wrong a witchcraft or zombie story um or vampires i don't know i i read the synopsis and now i can't remember what it was about uh but i recently read the between and it blew my brain i was just amazed by it uh and yeah how how the writing is it's magnificent uh so yeah i'm excited to get to this this is a big old floppy paperback and yeah i'm super excited it looks really long um the cover is creepy because it looks like a um camera lens but then you see this it almost looks like um a shapeshifter or skinwalker situation happening 
Uh, so yeah, I'm very excited to get to this one day. <laughs> Next book I got at my local used bookstore as well is The Fireman by Joe Hill. This book is huge. Um, I listened to this book, oh my gosh, I think like eight years ago, eight or ten years ago when it first came out. I got like an aud I used my audi audible credit for it. Um, and I remember I really liked it. It was... I would say it is a horror book, but it's like, yeah, post-apocalyptic or apocalyptic horror book. I guess the apocalypse is happening. Um, it's lots of fire happening. Um, and I remember liking it, but I don't remember much about it. Uh, and yeah, it is super long. Uh, I didn't realize how long it was, but um, I, yeah, I found it used and I was like, I might reread this one day. Uh, so yeah, um, excited to do a reread of this one day. So the last books I'm going to talk about are the new books. Uh, so that is this edition of The Black Phone. Actually, this is 20th Century Ghost um, collection of Joe Hill stories, um, which I've also already listened to like a thousand years ago, like 10 years ago, I think when it came out on Audible and I actually just finished re-listening to The Black Phone just for the movie and I had to get this. I had a gift card at Barnes & Noble and the thing of this is like the only thing I wanted. Uh, so I used my gift card for this and I love this cover of this mass market paperback. Like, ah, uh, if you guys don't know, I believe this is Ethan Hawke. I'm pretty sure it's Ethan Hawke. Uh, <laughs> playing the kidnapper in the upcoming Plum House production of Black Phone, which is a very, very short story in 20th Century Ghost. So I'm really excited to see where they take it because um, I don't really know how you would really expand on that story. But anyways, yeah, I'm really excited for the movie. So I just, I just really wanted this cover because it's amazing. <laughs> the last book I got is also a purchase from my local used bookstore and that is Crossroads by Laurel Hightower. Uh, this is very very short but I hear this packs a punch. I've been meaning to get to it forever. I just read Below by Hightower and loved it uh, but I hear this is a grief horror uh, kind of like Pet cemetery. Uh, but yeah, it's very, very tiny, uh, so I don't know a ton about it. I haven't even read the back because I don't want to know that much going in. Uh, but I hear it destroys you. So <laughs> for it to be this tiny and to destroy you, uh, I'm there. Yes, sign me up, please. <laughs> okay, so there was my horror book haul. Uh, let me know if you guys have read any of these books or are you intrigued to read any of these books. Or let me know which one I should get you first because, uh, yeah, there's so many good ones here. Uh, I just don't know where to start, honestly. Uh, and, yeah, some help would be... Uh, very much appreciated. <laughs> uh, and you guys have a great day. Bye.